Just found a bottle of Jim Beam. Ooh. It's full too. It's Friday morning, I have three eBay orders to ship out and then I'm headed over to the storage units. I'm meeting my buddy Anthony from the Froggy Flips channel. I reached out to him last week to see if he wanted to look at the stuff. He lives in Indiana and I think it's about a two hour drive for him. So it's a little bit of a hike. So hopefully we can find some stuff for him to resell and make some money on. I'm a big fan of his channel. I've been watching it now for, I don't know, I think like two months or something like that. You guys have heard me talk about him a lot. So really looking forward to meeting him in person. All right, first thing I'm shipping out is an F2. This is a Franklin Mint Knife. Kind of a funky logo. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Viewers Brenda and Ken bought this. Thank you both so much for the support. I hope you like the knife. All right, next is down to B6. This is a vintage Indiana University hat. Had it still set for like $10 best offer. Someone sent the best offer of $8 plus shipping, and I accepted. Let's go out to viewer named Max. Max, thank you for the business. It means a lot. All right, last thing we're shipping out is right here. This is an old Art Deco lamp. I kept it up here because I didn't want it to get broken. This is part of a buy I made a few months ago. I've maybe got 10 or 15 bucks into it. I had it listed for like, I don't know, $150, $200 or something for a while or best offer and didn't really get any bites. Somebody finally sent an offer of $75 plus shipping and I accepted. So you might be watching this thinking to yourself, I wonder how he is going to ship this lamp. So I will show you. I went ahead and took off the shade. Um, it's metal and most of this is metal. This is kind of like a faux marble. So it's not like super fragile, but it is breakable. So we're going to pack it pretty well. And I even took out the bulb and we are going to bubble wrap this and then put it in a small box and then put that box in the big box. Anytime I got to ship something awkward like this, it is really tricky because I have to find a box that is at least as wide as the shade and also as long as this. And that will limit our choices. So this is 11 inches wide and this is like 15, 16 inches tall. I can take this little piece off too, just to save a little bit on height if we need to. So we gotta have at least a 16 by 11 by 11. All right, my choices for boxes are pretty limited right now. So I'm gonna have to use this big 18 by 18 by 16 and then just cut it down. All right, one more thing. Typically this piece right here that goes around the light bulb and that the shade connects to, I don't even know what it's called. Typically this thing, you can pinch it and it'll pop off. But with this one, it is all together. So if you're packing stuff like this, I think it's good to just go overkill with the bubble wrap. Like put more bubble wrap than you think is necessary because these boxes just get tossed around in transit. So they kind of take a beating. All right, everything's packed in here. I'm gonna take my handy dandy shed flips box knife and resizing tool and score all of these edges and break the box down a little bit then put more packing paper in it and get this thing shipped out all right it's good to go how's it going Hi, buddy. How you doing? good how was the drive that? how was the drive oh, yeah construction kind of sucks Appreciate How you guys you making the drive out here. Do no, of course not, man. Uh, yeah, I just assumed. I like your little pocket set up there. That's smart. Thanks. Just, uh, I stuck with the backpacks for some reason. Yeah, whatever works, man. I'm excited to meet you guys finally. Yeah. yeah. My wife says she's super jealous. <laughs> she watches your videos more than mine. Yeah, well, yeah, same with her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so there's a lot to look at. Both of these go all the way back they're 10 by 40s okay. like really really big and then down there is the biggest one it's 20 by 30 it's like 10 units down awesome um i've got some empty boxes out of here i've got some ikea bags you have like any idea what you're looking for um i mean i mean smaller stuff like definitely i'm gonna take it furniture and everything yeah. like that um uh, like i mean they're filled with vintage and stuff like that aren't they? Kind tons of and tons of vintage yeah. like for the most part, if I'm not looking for like electronics and stuff, I'm, I'm looking for vintage stuff. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Awesome, man. I'll try to pull stuff out too, because I'm still like unearthing things that I haven't found. <laughs> so if I see something that you guys might want, right, you just want to start looking at. Yeah, dig in, man. Awesome. Go crazy. Seriously, appreciate you guys making the drive down here. Did yeah, any rain on the way? No rain. That's I good. Just, just, you know, yeah. Like, 
Then you know, once you're out of Indiana, it's fine. Yeah. Whole bunch of nothing. Right. <laughs> Should I start a little pile out here? Yeah, man, go for it. Um, these are going for about 20. You got any interest in those? You're looking for like small new stuff. I think I found a box you guys might like. What is it? A lot of smalls. Yeah, there's some cast iron pieces in here. Should be okay oh, in there. Awesome. I need to get Elliot for Oh my gosh, my grandfather used to have these. It's little posters. He used to tell me it was real money. Yeah? I believe him. Found <laughs> <laughs> a bottle of Jim Beam. Ooh. It's full too. 1995. Oh, it's like it's completely sealed. Look at the top That's of that. Cool. That is cool. Here's something you might want. Um, it's an old baby jumper. It never was used because I just checked it out. It's pretty clean. Not a whole lot of comps. A box one sold for 50 shift and then a couple out of the box sold for 30. And I want to say there's another one of those somewhere like floating around. Jolly jumper. Stanley fix up set for pleasure and profit. Do you know what these are? I mean, I just kind of brought them out because I couldn't see back there. Let's see. Made in Japan. I really don't know. But you are the man for the job to find out what they are. I do believe. All right. Get the fuzz busters. You got anything down there still? Uh, yes, yeah, some, some... I, to... I can go pop it in a box. Gonna... Okay. It's all small stuff. I think. Okay, cool. Here's here's an empty box. You want help? No, I think okay. I'm fine. All right, you guys ready? Uh, one more thing. Yeah, you can start looking at it. Okay. Um, what all over here are you getting, Sarah? Me? Yeah. Are you guys getting anything in this box? Or should I put that back? Are you getting these reels? Um, I didn't look them up, and I don't want to. I don't. I don't know enough to just glance and know that they're worth. But, so I think the answer is no. My grandfather. I'm getting. Especially it was it was it was this L right here, and then there's there's two boxes of eight tracks. Yeah. That I did not look through, but sometimes I gamble on eight tracks. So yeah, sure. If you want to maybe take those, those, you'd be doing me a favor. Yeah, I'll move this out of the way. Okay, so. All this right here, mm -hmm. toolbox, and this stuff. Do you want those weird ornament thingies? Oh, I mean, I, I have no clue what they were, so I mean. And then the eight track tapes. Yeah. So I mean. That's you know, it? Yeah, a lot of it would just be kind of guesses because it looks cool. Yeah. Um, about a hundred bucks. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, because there's nothing that's like screaming out to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it, it's all smaller stuff. Yeah. I mean, that sounds ridiculously nice. No, I mean, the A tracks. I even offered them to the guy the other day. I said, if you if you'll take these off my hands, I'll give you all of them for like ten bucks or twenty bucks, just because okay. I don't want to mess with them. Anything that you want. Deal for sure, man. Thank awesome. You. Cool. I'll dig those out for you. Oh yeah, she took some boxes off my hands. <laughs> we didn't tell you we made a deal on those. I sold her all those for I heard fifty. You talking about boxes for uh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. It's a pleasure meeting both of you. Thanks for making the drive. I don't think we made a big dent, but it was fun at least. I yeah. <laughs> hey, you took a car load. That's all we can do, one car load at a time, you know. Anthony and Sarah, thank you for making the drive out here. It was a pleasure meeting you both, and hope you make some great money with that stuff. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>